Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again for another weekly e-vlog here with American Truck Sim and iRacing. We are switching up a little bit this week. I can't really say we're switching it up. We're going back to what we were supposed to be doing. Now that we can get back into the season, we are packed up with two cars for the Wheelin' Modified Tour down at Richmond. It is the Richmond is for lovers. 150, 150 laps around Richmond. We won this event last year. I'm feeling very good about it. Hoping to keep that momentum traveling from our win domination down at New Smyrna. Yes, I turned up the difficulty. But I very much look forward uh, to that and I'm so excited to be back in a modified. My favorite car to dr ride, drive, to watch, to be around is modified. So big win on that. So uh, yeah, we will see you guys up in Richmond. So we're about 20 plus away, uh, shortly over 20, and it is foggy. I'm glad it's not raining. Um, but yeah, let's talk about uh, this weekend, and we'll talk about last weekend as well. So this weekend coming up uh, all in the same day. We have two days, uh, uh, sorry, on Friday. We have uh, two practice sessions, which is pretty awesome. They're back to back. Uh, on track with the Wheel of Modified Tour, and then at 4.30, we will end up having qualifying for a 6.30 start on Friday for racing. So that's uh, a nighttime race, well, sun going down race <laughs> at Richmond. I think it's supposed to be chilly this weekend, so uh, it means at least for, for me, feels it's going to feel fast. <laughs> you turn oh you're right off the highway I thought you were a little bit further um, okay well while we're getting ready to park let's actually chit chat about uh, last weekend so last weekend double header at Five Flag Speedway with the Arkham Menard East Series and the ASA Stars National Tour we crashed out both we brought home two wrecked race cars in the Arca race, uh, I was having trouble even getting the car to steer at the very basic. It was very frustrating uh, just to even be around the car, and uh, <clears throat> it ended up getting loose and snapping sideways on the front stretch. Went in, uh, replaced the tow link in the front right of the Arca car, went back out for a couple laps, uh, was trying to let the faster cars by, ended up getting three wide on the back stretch. They ended up uh, pushing me up into the wall. And unfortunately, uh, that completely broke the front left end of the car, which then sent us uh, around the track and uh, ended our day. In the ASA uh, Stars Tour, uh, we had a very good car. It felt like I was racing on ice, so I had the exact opposite problem. Um, and unfortunately, uh, somebody got kind of to our inside as we were coming through turn three, kind of gave us a little bump up. Uh, I sent her a little too hard coming out of four and got loose and went into the inside wall. And man, does that come up quick when you are in those cars. So unfortunately, that ended our day uh, and whole weekend. So two wrecked cars, felt a lot of shame, felt just really crappy about it. Um, but it is what it is. We are first in points, so we do get the first parking spot, which is all the way over there. But there's this convenient... Uh, gas line here and I don't want to be the one who's going to end up breaking that. <coughs> <coughs> I just sucked in a whole bunch of dust. Oh my god, sorry. <clears throat> so, give me a second to get this all parked. I thought I had myself a little bit more room on that. Okay. It's going to just barely squeeze by. wanting to just be careful as I go by I'm also trying to figure out like do I which way do I want to try to get this in there so I'm a thinking <sighs> a stupid collision box on that trailer I know we got to swap it out but I like the lights on the back of this one so um, yeah so yeah sad double header last weekend um, and I'm hoping to redeem ourselves this weekend. I, I hate crashing out. I still keep the footage. I, I could just very easily, you know, just not put out a video. But I, I think it's fair to be able to show, you know, you don't you don't win them all. And you're definitely not going to win them all. You know, somebody who watched 
a couple of my videos where I did win, and they're like, where's even the challenge? And I'm thinking to myself, if you watched all of the videos, you would know that I definitely don't always win. I know I'm a little bit on the curb. That one's on me, but I want to be able to get this over for this first spot, and I don't have any room to be able to work with it. Back end pushed over. Let's see. That's better. Much better. <clears throat> right it right on line all the way up. Keep the wheel straight. Oh, this way. Straight enough. Nope. Nope. That's where I wanted to be. Thank you. Windows up. We made good time. Three o'clock. So tomorrow we get to go out on track and play around. Uh, but let's let's step out. Let's stretch our legs. Spin a, spin a drive. All right. Out of the truck. Legs are stretched. Going to take Ella on a walk. We're here. Oh, yeah. I have plenty of room. Ooh, that's a really high curb. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't come any more forward. Yikes. I'm a little cockeyed, and that's okay. We're starting to look at the, the minute things when we get off the ground. Um, but yeah, welcome to Richmond, everybody. It should be a good race. I'm very excited about it. Uh, and a nighttime one at that. It's been really cool. Uh, before when we'd be doing races, even if they're night races, we were just doing them during the day. We're really trying to duplicate that for the tracks that are able to have night races to actually be under the lights at them. So we will see you guys tomorrow when it is time for uh, racing here at Richmond with a wheel and modified tour. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday here from Richmond Raceway. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of wrenches, gear oil, and Sunoco fuel. Mm, nothing like it. If you've ever, ever been able to be in a garage area uh, for uh, any sort of event, especially the Wheel of Modified Tour events, you know the smell. But man, am I so excited to be able to hit the track here. Wheel Modified Tour is my favorite division to be in. We are last year's champions. We won the opener. Yes, I turned up the difficulty. And I'm very, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be back in this series, our, what I call our home, our rightful series. Uh, and I'm hoping to be able to carry that momentum. So let's get the car unloaded and let's head out for practice, shall we?
right, so we are done with practice. Uh, we were first on the board for a little while, then we dropped down to fifth, and that's perfectly fine by me. It shows that we have speed, and I just don't want to squish things. So it shows that it's going to be competitive, and one thing I am noticing, and I wonder if, you know, uh, they were going to test me for Carpal Tunnel a little while ago, and I think that might be rearing its ugly head. Uh, just the 20 laps that I took of practice, uh, my wrists are killing me, and we have 150 of those laps to make this evening. So uh, it's right before 4.30 right now. We're going to get in the car, and we are going to head out for qualifying here at Richmond with the Wheel and Modified Tour. Let's see how we do. <laughs> It is time for us to get suited up and get ready for driver intros here. We are going green at 6.30, and you can tell the sun's still up, which means, heck yes, it is a beautiful early spring day. But we're going to get ourselves suited up, head out to the grid. We are starting 15th today. I actually thought we were going to be doing a little bit better than that. I just don't think I could find the speed. Uh, I think it was more of the exiting. Uh, but I just couldn't get, get the speed. So starting a little bit further back than I'd like to. Uh, but my fingers are crossed for a good race. I know that we can get long run speed if we can stay out of trouble. So there is a halfway break at 75 laps. Hopefully be able to make any adjustments we need there. Definitely going to have to fill up more on fuel. But uh, let's head trackside. Whew, words, man. Words are hard today. <laughs> let's head trackside. Let's have a good race. And we'll see you guys afterwards.
That is a win in the Wilden column for Young Buck Beverage Co., for Frog Dog Racing, for Ford, everybody. Oh my God. We did it. <laughs> that was probably the most fun that I've had since our very, very first um, win. Whew, sorry, words are just not with me today. Since our very first win, um, that's probably the most fun that I have had racing. Uh, we started in 15th. We were able to uh, get our way, bob and weave through the field. Uh, we were able to get to the front to end the first half of the race by probably about three seconds. In the second half, we started in eighth. Then there was a caution that started us in fourth. And we were able to finally make our way up to the front. But man, Max McLaughlin uh, in the 77. Holy crap. He gave me a run for my money. I was watching. I'm somebody who I rear view mirror drive all the time all the time so i am watching this mirror watching this mirror and he was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger we were lucky ably to fend him off but i couldn't have done it for too much longer so that's so awesome another win for us here in the wheel of modified tour which is awesome we're heading up to thompson in a couple weeks uh where we kind of dominate because it does feel like it's our backyard uh that and stafford so I just have a huge smile on my face, you know, and I hope that the racing was entertaining for you guys. My arms are killing me. I am exhausted. I literally just got out of the sim chair. That's how fresh this is. That's how awesome this is. So, <sighs> thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out to this e-vlog. Uh, I've been really, really enjoying making these, and I really hope that you guys have been enjoying watching them. So... Let's head on to our next adventure, which next week is going to be Martinsville. So big smile on our face for that. Heart is open and excited for that as well. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.